Okay, everybody. Hello, this is Dr. Steve Early, a craft doctor. And this was the last, the one that I could not figure out how to do it. And I know I wasn't crazy. I know this card was supposed to go um, some way with this piece. This piece goes right here. This piece goes here. What happened is I was supposed to do it that way. There we go. And so when you put this down, so it's a Z fold, but it's a short Z fold. You're supposed to put this like this. And then this piece, both of those get taped, right? Both of them get taped and they lay you bump up against this one up against the edge and this one up against that edge and lay this down just like that. And then it opens. That's what it is. I'm like, this card is weird, but that's, that's how you do that. And then I have my little girl. She goes right here. And so I'm going to pop her up. I'm going to pop her up. Oh, should I use a smaller? I need a little bitty one too. Oh, I have a little one open. Okay, I'll put one here and one here. Okay, and she is going to go right here. Where's that little piece in there? She's gonna go right there. Our little bitty duck. My little bitty duck is going to go right here. And so I'm about to pop him up. Okay. So he's going to go right here. Then our best wishes. I'm going to put right there. I'm going to put best wishes right here. And then I have this, this here. I'm going to put this right in there. The fun, the crazy part about these little things, feathers and stuff is they just add just something, just something, just like that. And then I'm going to take my little bitty bow and I'm gonna put my bow right here with some glossy accents. Right there. And then I'm gonna take my little bitty, this is the cutest, this little thing here, this lily pad is super cute to me. You'll see them random in spots. I want to put my lily pad right here. But you know what? I want to bring him. Can I get him off? Let me get him off. I want to bring him down a little bit more. Uh, yep. I want to put him down more with my lily pad. There we go. That is how that card is supposed to go. <laughs> yeah. I knew I was going to figure it out. I just had to remember. So. That's how this one goes. And I'm just going to slide this in here to get it from not getting dirty. Okay. So that's how that card went. <laughs> Y'all got to excuse me if I don't remember how these cards go, but I did so many of them. Swan Lake caused me so many problems. Okay. So I started working on this card here. And this card here is um, another doozy for me because what she did was she, um, did I use this side? Did I want to use that side? This goes here underneath there. So it's a lot of Matt and Laren type situations. Okay. This mats here, and that mats there, and these two mat and layer right there. 
this. Oh, where's there's my love you. And this. This goes. Was I supposed to cut these out? I think I was supposed to fussy cut these two out. Then I didn't. Okay, so let's mat and layer all of this. And I'm telling you, if you go on to Crafters Companions, and what it was it called? Launch Day of Swan Lake. The very first picture you see is the card that I just made. So you'll get a chance to see what I was talking about and watch Sarah make it. That's another one gone. Another one bite the dust. This is another card that she made also. Um, oh, let's, let's take another one. And I, I bought a pack of them, and I'm praying that I don't use them all up before I get through. <laughs> Maybe I need to stop using so much tape on them. But these little babies don't last too long. They don't last too long. They don't last too long. Okay. Put that there. And we're going to mat. This one goes matted here. Okay, let's mat this piece. And on here. These are all going to be cards that I'm going to donate to the senior citizen home. You know, it may just bring back some memories to people. Um, because a lot of our seniors have this culture and they remember Swan Lake and the like, you know. So I would hope that they will remember this, you know, this card, you know, the, the scene or whatever, the play musical. What, a, what was Swan like a musical or a play? I don't really remember. Can't do a play. I'm silly. Okay, so this goes like that, and then this opens up like this. Okay, that's how this go. And if it don't go that way, this is how it's gonna go right now because I'm an old lady and my memory don't last long. But if you go look on Sarah's launch day, you'll see this card. <laughs> you'll see it. You will. I promise you. We're going to take this and we're going to put this here. Yes. Because I'm sure this is probably not how this card is supposed to be, but it is now. Because I believe this was a step card. here I really want this to go right there so you know what I'm gonna do when a lot of this tape allows you to pull back on it roll it back so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna roll that back and I'm gonna end it right where that tape ends right there okay just like that I guess it'll look better if I straighten it out huh and then we have this bow. Where do we want the bow to go? Okay. We're going to put the bow right here. And I'm just using a little glossy accent to hold my bow in place. Right there. I think that's cute. 
and then you open it up and you have our swan and then you can write right there super cute i love this one like and there we go that is our next card this is crooked you know what's crooked it's this piece it's this piece that seems to be crooked to me so if i straighten that baby out this baby will be straighter there we go <laughs> There we go. Some semblance of straightness. <laughs> hey, where did this heart come from? Must be in here. <clears throat> so let's put the hearts because this just, I think I've included the hearts because it just makes me think of lovers. Look at that. It fits perfectly right there. I love it. All right. <laughs> so that's our next card. Um, how many was that? That's two. Let's do one more. Oh my God. Oh, I forgot these pieces. I don't feel like fussy cutting, so we'll put them on later. This right here is my favorite to also card that I wanted to make, I think. Is it? Or is it just the, not the one? Um, no, this is the easel card. This is not the one. Um, this is an easel card that I use with the book in the book in uh, die. The uh, Triple Easel book from Sarah uh, Crafters Companion. And so what I did was I made it an easel card. Um, and so it's a smaller, a smaller card. And so we're gonna just mat this. And this is the book card. Like we we remember when we bought the um the hearts and the triple the triple easel die set that had the hearts and the book that's what this is i'm just not doing a triple i'm just making it a regular old easel because i bought i didn't buy the full set i only bought this set for this piece because i didn't have anything that looked like this book and every time i tried to get it um in other sets it was out and i thought it was super cute and so that's this one and i'm just going to mat this right here and we all you know most of us know how to make easel cards we take the die and we put it right across the top and it'll cut out the the um shape it'll cut off this part and then we cut another one and we tape it to it to make it look like it's complete and then we mat and layer it and then i'm gonna mat and layer on the inside of this one mat this first it hurt my insides y'all that i had to cut off these people on the back side only reason why i don't like double-sided paper because both sides be so beautiful that you don't want to get rid of them. You don't want to get rid of either side. Oh, this goes like this. You don't want to get rid of either side of them. Okay, you know what I did not do that, that I forgot? Okay. Or did I do it that way? Yep, I think I did it this way. I made it so it could go as far down as possible so I didn't have to cut that off. But I don't think it worked that way. I am still might have to cut off just a, a hair smidgen. Yep. I'm going to have to cut off just a smidge from the top of that one and a smidge from the top of that one. So it fits okay. Okay, like that. And then this, you give that line a crease and it'll stand up. So, and also what I did was I stamped this out. Um, my heart belongs to you. And then I cut it out again on some of this same cardstock just to give this a little bit of, um, a little bit of, thickness okay so 
I did that like that on purpose. So see, it gives it some thickness. And then I cut out the little bitty book. Um, I cut out the swan just like it to give the swan some thickness, even though the swan like that is going to be what's holding this up. So I need to put some pop dots on the back of this. And so I want this to stand up. And so I'm going to put two pop dots on it to make it stand up, okay? And just, that's what you do if you need of that extra little height. You need the extra little height, just stack them up on top of one another. Just like that. And then my swan is going to hold that up. Just like that. And then this piece I left because I wanted to, this little book. Um, and I wanted to just be right here. Actually, I want this to be right here. I want this to be popped up right there. So I got these little bitty pop dots that I want to put on here. And it's it's funny. There's so much going on in this um in this box, and you have to be creative to make all of the cards. Um, and so that's the one reason why I'm doing this. So if somebody see a card that they like, they can just go ahead and use it. See that it's going to go right there. See, I wanted this to be tucked only because it's that extra book. <laughs> Even though it don't really make sense, but I do. I want it to be like that. It don't make sense, but it's my card. So, and there we go. Our easel card. Love it. Love it. Love it. And that's three cards. And we're at 17 minutes. So, I'll stop right here. And I'll be back in the next video.